Hey guys, welcome to a brand new vlog and today we're gonna show you what's in a typical Czech supermarket and we're gonna also show you if you wanna buy some stuff in Czech Republic where you can find it and we're just gonna do some quick walkthroughs. So I hope you're gonna enjoy and you're gonna stay until the end. Uh, Czech classic dishes. So you have the um, goulash, for example this. This is um, dumplings with uh, beef or you can have Let's say for example this, I think it's some type of pork. Yeah, it is pork with some, um, I can say it's got halushki, but it's sort of like dumplings. This is um, 64, 64 crown. You can also go for lasagna if you're into the Italian food for 89 crown. You have pizzas. And then this is classic Czech. When you come to Czech Republic, Knedlik, it's um, sort of like a bread dumpling which you steam up and get warm. And this is uh, one of the national dishes in Czech Republic. They also have these dumplings, which are dumplings with um, berries in the middle. So this is um, sweet. One other thing which is popular is this. Yeah. I haven't eaten this in one of the vlogs yet, but we shall do in the future. This is koleno, so it's pokni. And I think you throw it in the oven for probably like an hour and then you can eat it with some Czech bread. So this is a classic. And then there's the steaks. But I personally don't think steaks is really high quality in Czech. And the price is ridiculously high for per kilo, it's 319 crown. And this is my most favorite ayu and this is the one with beer. There's so much beer, so much, so much. In Czech, beer is a very big thing. The best beer which you can find in Czech is called Pilsner, which is here. And the price is 26 crown per bottle. And then you have Budweiser here, Gambrinus. And then you get also some big offers. Take, for example, this. 10 crown, 11 crown per bottle. That's almost 50 cents for a bottle like this. And you also got some special ales. So I think um, these are imported. And then you can also get the jugs. So this is a um, jug of Czech beer. 25 crown for one and a half liters. Or two liters for 30 crown. Interesting item in the alcohol aisle is this drink. It's called uh, Slivovice and it's 289 crown and this is made from plums and it's uh, very very popular with the locals so if you see some Czech people they probably offer you this and it's really 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 some strong stuff at 45% alcohol content it can get you lit up and below Czech Republic they are brewing a lot of wines so you can take for example here we have this one called Chateau Valtise which is a castle which is found on the south of Bruno and you also got some wine which is made in Breklav so it's a lot of um, Czech made wines Bruh. okay now we are in exotic aisle uh, where you can find uh, products from different countries all over the world and if you're looking for some extra sauces for your burgers or just for Indian food or Asian food there is actually spices for all different type of kitchens and um, so we are in the spices section. There's some stuff, some sauces for burritos, or salsa, or tacos. Uh, then here is some sweets, harshly syrup for your pancakes. Just like this, this one. If you know, you know. Marmite <laughs> for, the, for the British crazy people. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Reese's is here. I didn't see it here before. I think it's quite new. Usually you're supposed to find like a specialized shops for this. So it's a nice to have now. It's yeah, it's like UK, UK stuff with super malt and iron brew for the Scottish and tea. And I can see already there is something. I don't know if it's Russian. This all looks from there. <laughs> so really, it's from different countries and there's Asian stuff as well, spices. So here's the Indian sauces and on the other side is the Chinese things. So Chinese noodles, Chinese um, mushrooms and you've got the sesame oils and the sweet chilies. 
and soy sauces and so on. Typical Czech bread. If you didn't like it when you came, you will like it after some time. <laughs> uh, everyone has it usually at home. So you can either get it like this loaf or you can get it cut. There is a saying, uh, if we want to welcome you, we welcome you with this type of bread and salt. Yeah, and the flavor is a bit cumin-like. And, and very yeasty, but you just get used to it. Toast breads. Um, so these are the cube classic um, bread which is found in UK and USA. But I personally don't find it as much good quality as you get in other countries. It's also what are called um, kolacek or Czech cakes and these are must try. So I'm going to show you the different type. So you have for example this one, it's with um, poppy seeds and then you have also another one with berries, another one with a type of cheese, um, it's like called twaroch. And then you've got also here with some, um, I think it's a rhubarbs. So these are very very sweet and very very unique but the traditional one is this one here where it's got uh, a poppy seed taste and um, it's, it's really sweet buttery taste and when you come to check you really need to try this this bad boy here it's called a medovnik and it's made from honey and also walnuts it's a bit powdery but it's really really sweet it's got a very strong honey taste which uh, you really like and a variation of that it's also this one called uh, malenka and then you can also have it in uh, chocolate in one of the vlogs when Teresa was trying the Czech snacks she tried also one of these it's called a cream roll which is a pastry a, a fluffy pastry with some cream inside I think this one looks better here you can really see what's going on inside so it's um, really light but it's not soft Teresa also tried this one which is called a uh, venechki you can also get a variation with uh, the different kind of Czech sweets you can have and this is only 39 crown the selection of sweets is unlimited it's unlimited it's a really a lot um, I picked up some favorite Czech ones uh, one is called Margot um, it's I think soy uh, mixture with nuts and it has very specific flavor not everyone likes it there's also coconut and it's covered in chocolate it's hard to describe how it tastes like I would say something like ginger fresh, nuttish you need to try it this one is a must then um, there is this one called deli they have different flavors this one is my favorite with nuts um, it's sort of like a chewy, fudgy, sweet to have with your coffee. And this one is very typical. Uh, that's called uh, bananas in chocolate. Uh, there are no real bananas. I don't think there's a big percentage of banana in there. It's more flavoring. It's like a sponge, banana sponge uh, covered in chocolate. That's not my favorite. But you can try. This is called spa biscuits. Um, usually when you go to Petlice or Karlovy Vary, uh, that's where you have the spa. What they do in there, um, they can warm it up for you or you can warm it up at home. It's nice warm and it's nice also cold. It's a biscuit with different flavors like nuts or vanilla. This ice cream, it's called Russian ice cream. I don't know if it's from Russia, but in Czech everyone loves it or most people. It's two biscuits and in the middle is the vanilla ice cream. And you just eat it like that, like a biscuit. For 20 crown each, you have um, this, it's called a kofola, which is a drink made between um, Czech, when it was called Czechoslovakia back in the days. And it's, um, it's got a flavor which is almost like Coca-Cola, but sort of Dr. Pepper-ish, but not so sweet. So it's a traditional Czech drink. lucky you can um, have a fresh fruit market like we do in Bruno so this is open every day during the week and only on Saturdays in the morning so a lot of local people they come here to buy their fresh fruits and fresh vegetables one kg of peaches for 69 crown and they're from a region called Moravska which is south of Bruno so they're saying their fruits are freshly made these guys they have uh, tomatoes going for 24 crown per kilo 25 crown per kilo and they also have peppers for 39 crown and 49 crown for the red peppers 
there was a time when the fruit market at veggies which are not coming from Czech Republic, same as fruits, but in this visit it looks like things have improved. Most of their produce is made in Czech Republic and grown in Czech Republic. So that is a big improvement, but I'm glad they've changed and updated what's going on. We have potatoes going at 15 crown per kg and on the side you have onions as well going for 25 crown per kg. We've got some sweet peaches going at 60 crown per kg. So I got what's called a bruchak. It's um 25 crown and what it is it's a wine which is not fully matured so it's made from Czech grapes in the region of Moravia only and you can only get it there or unless it's exported. It's a sort of a cloudy liquid and it's really seasonal. It's one of those things you need to try. Oof. You know it's like really really sweet so don't underestimate that because you can easily easily get drunk and it's just it's just gonna hit you. It's got flavor of um it's like apple juice with some wine and mixed together and it's a uh, super super sweet. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you leave us a like and subscribe for more future videos. See you in the next one.